Yeah. I guess uh, I don't. This is probably not huge on your radar, but to be named the uh, semifinals for the Mackey Award, considering the prestige of that position here, what what was kind of your reaction to that? What did what significance did that have? Uh, you know, I just got a text from my dad. Um, he's like, "Hey, congrats!" I was like, "On what?" <laughs> he's like, uh, "And so he's like." Uh, be, being named semifinal, so I think it's really cool, uh, but it's just it's not really like a goal of mine or anything. It's kind of an, an indicator that you know I'm doing pretty well, so I'm pretty happy about it. Though. What is kind of the next step for your game? Uh, just becoming a more dynamic player, just the little things, uh, catching every ball, being consistent, mm -hmm. and, you know, running every route perfectly and understand the defenses and, and uh, just on BYU a little bit I mean their outside linebackers are pretty dynamic um, yeah. what do you what do they look like on film to you what, what do they do well uh, I think Vinoy uh, does a really good job of using his, his athleticism he's a big strong guy but he can also run around you and juke you out and kind of make you look really dumb mm -hmm. um, so I think that he's just a really good uh, Really good athlete, and he's going to be pretty tough as well. As you evolved the second year, what, what did you feel you had to improve on most? Uh, just you know, carving out a, a pass game for myself, and letting everyone know that that I'm a guy that that you want to pass to on third down or any downs. Did you feel that you were kind of underrated in, in that ability because you were not that kind of being physical? Right? Yeah. I, I think I, I was looked at that way a little bit, especially just because I blocked so much last year. That was, that was kind of one thing I wanted to do, is just really let everyone know that, hey, pretty good at catching the ball, too. Do you notice the difference in Ben? Because zero pass targets through, I think, the Oklahoma game, and then all of a sudden he's a huge part of the yeah. offensive game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely Ben's getting a lot more confident. He's doing really well. And you can see in his eyes he's just a lot happier. and. I'm happy for him because he's been working hard and, and he's been, really been doing well in practice and now he's been doing it in the game. So, Would you have ever thought that you know, you'd know you be doing a lot of the same things that, that he was doing when you were standing there watching him? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I knew that it, it would just be a process and it would take time for me to develop my skills and you know, th that's just kind of what happens. Uh, Tyler worked his way up and so have I and so has Ben. And, same thing with Durham, you know, that's all going to happen. What's the biggest challenge, just kind of switching gears, BYU brings that front seven that's shifting a lot, and you guys went against them last year. It's, I guess, probably one of those underrated defenses, especially a guy like Van Oy on the outside. Yeah, uh, you just got to be on your game. Just everyone's got to be locked in about the offense, knowing what to do when, when they switch up uh, their fronts and stuff. So you just got to really pay attention.